Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a roundup of items from Bath and Body Works that myself and Ben have finished off. I also have like a slight purchase from their body care day that they had recently. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the two candles that we have finished off. So the first candle that I have, um, I finished it off a while ago and then I kept forgetting to put it in Bath & Body Works trash talks, so I'm finally remembering. It is Pink, Lilac, and Vanilla. This is a candle that I picked up on a whim during the semi-annual sale in July, and I gotta tell you, I loved this candle. I purchased it thinking that it was probably going to be a really light scent and not have a super aggressive throw, but I really liked the scent fit enough that I wanted to give it a try, and that was lies. This thing had a great throw. It was a distinctively soft scent, but it was always noticeable. We had it in our kitchen. I mean, it had sort of a like a dirtyish burn, but it burned all the way down. Didn't have any real issues with performance and having it finish itself off. So I am super sad that I waited until like September, I think it was. Maybe it was like October I waited until we burned this because by the time I realized how great it was, it was all, it was not in stores. And I didn't see it at all during candle day. So I don't know if it is being like kept in the back specifically for some annual sale or if it truly is gone. But I might take a look when some annual sale comes around. And if I see any, I would snag probably one more because it was a really, really good scent. And I think that it performed really well, which I mean, you can't ask for more than that with a candle. The second candle that we have finished off, I recently purchased during candle day, which was under the Christmas tree. You guys, I wasn't lying when I said that I had to feed the beast that is Ben needing to have balsam fur scented candles. Immediately we burned through this. Uh, I have another one of these and I purchased Tree Farm. I will not be surprised if all of those get burned up very quickly in the near future. The notes of this were supposedly fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves, essential oils. I mean, it just smelled like a balsam fir candle. I really enjoyed it. It was a very strong, like spicy balsam fir scent. It filled up our entire like kitchen, dining room, living room, living room area. We have like two living rooms kind of. It filled up our entire first floor, almost to the point where it could have been headache inducing. I mean, Ben would sit near this and he was working at home. I don't think I could have done that because it is a really intense scent. It burned fine. I would say like I would say it about here, the wick started to get puny, but it didn't stop it from like pulling out a full wax pool or having decent scent. So it seemed like that was totally fine. It did burn a little sooty, but not a big deal. Overall, happy with it, and I'm happy to see that the winter candles thus far haven't been a huge bust because I feel like sometimes I go through waves where every candle I burn from Bath & Body Works is atrocious, and here we have two winners, which is so refreshing. Next item that I have is a pocket back. It's the Aromatherapy Love Rose and Vanilla scent. Um, you guys know I bought a bunch of these back in August in exactly this scent. I don't know if it's still in stores, but I feel like every time I've gone to Bath & Body Works, which hasn't been a ton, but like the few times I have gone, I feel like their pocket back scent choices are really not great. I don't know if that's because they're constantly like depleting their pocket back stock, so it's hard to keep like just scents in general there, or if they're just not producing much variety because they're just trying to mass produce a bunch. I don't know, but I don't think you get this in stores anymore. I love this scent. I think it's the kind of pocket back scent that is ideal because it is a strong, like it's a very strong, like long lasting scent, but it's not a really intense scent on its own. I find that the pocket backs are very intensely strong scented in the sense of like, I've washed my hands before and I could still smell the pocket back on me. My sister is, I think a bit more sensitive to scents and she can always tell when I've put on like a pocket back, even if it's been hours afterwards, she'll say to me like, oh, did you put hand sanitizer on? And I'm like, yep, mm -hmm, I did, yep. Mm -hmm. So I would say like, because the love scent is a little bit more of like a soapier type of scent, it's okay that it's really strong, but I will always put the disclaimer in here that if you're really sensitive to scents, I wouldn't buy their pocket backs because they're very, very strong. I have one item that I finished off in my Project Use It Up, which is the Beach Night Summer Marshmallow Shower Gel. This stuff is lovely, I think it's great. I had a vanilla craving, this helped me kick that craving. I have, I think one more of these, Ben might have two more of these, at least not one more. We really like this scent, it's yummy, it's a good vanilla scent, no complaints. A final item that we have comes to us from Benjamin. It is the Suede Men's Collection Ultra Shea Body Cream. This was nice, I like this scent. I'm gonna say the same thing I always say about the men's care line, they all smell the same, they smell just like 
cologne. And this had like more of a, a clean, sort of like a clean Irish soap vibe to it. I liked it. I think it's yummy. I love when Ben puts this on. It's helping keep him, you know, moisturized and not as dry, which is good because he's the kind of person who will scratch at himself if he's dry. And then that's a whole fun thing to listen to and deal with. So happy that he's using this. Um, again, both of us are in a body cream season. So I'm sure Ben will finish off a few more between now and the end of winter. Okay, so now that we've talked about things that I finished off, like I mentioned at the start, I did purchase a few body care items when they had their body care day. And I just want to put this out there. I feel like a lot of people were saying, oh, this isn't that good of a deal compared to like buy three, get three or buy two, get two or whatever other like sales they tend to run. And I disagree. I also disagree because I have found the past few years for semi-annual sales that you rarely get the entire store on sale. It tends to be just their seasonal stuff, which I mean makes sense if you're thinking about it from a company level because you're trying to get rid of the scents that are no longer in season. So you mass clearance those out, but the things that are like your staple scents or aren't tied to a season, you don't have to clearance those out because they'll keep selling all year. So I'm a big fan of Body Care Day because I like the ability to have access to everything Thing I want. With that said, when I went into the store, there like wasn't a whole lot that I wanted. That I wanted. I went in wanting to get body creams, not a ton, but I only have two, and they're rose scents. And I'm trying to not go too hard on the rose and then get sick of it because I do have quite a bit of that scent note mixed into my body care collection. So I'm trying to like keep things spaced out. So I wanted to have another body cream. And when I went in there, I have always had my eye on Cactus Blossom, but I don't need shower gels. They didn't have it as a scrub. And then I thought to myself, do I really want to use Cactus Blossom right now in the winter as a body cream? Not really. So then I kept walking around and I came across a scent that I distinctly recall loving as a body care item, but then didn't have any more of it and kind of missed it. And that was A Thousand Wishes. I can't remember if I had this as a body cream or a shower gel, but I really, really liked it. I used it up, I think like two years ago, maybe it was last year, I don't quite remember, but I really loved it and I felt like this packaging also gorgeous. I wanted to get the like a thousand Merry Wishes, I think it was, but they aren't the exact same scent and that felt like it had like a spice in it that I wasn't a fan of. So I decided to go ahead and go with the body cream. And then while I was trolling around the store, I ended up purchasing a scrub in the same scent. I really don't need scrubs, but I really want to get a handle on where their scrubs are at beyond what comes out in their seasonal stuff. And this is considered a glowing body scrub. I don't really know what the texture of this is gonna be because right now there aren't any samples in stores that you can sort of get a feel of those products inside. But I figured I'd at least try it. I do at least like the scent and I mean, you're never, and I will say it's hard to find scrubs. In fact, like a conspiracy theory here, I feel like they were pulling scrubs off the shelf because there were so few scrubs. It was like, um, you're the one I think had scrubs and this, but like nothing else. And I, 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 you can't tell me scrubs are selling like hotcakes that fast that you don't have a lot of scrubs. So I feel like they pulled those because these things retail for $16.50, which is pretty hefty. So I got two in this one scent and then I also decided to go with a Snowflakes and Cashmere. I mean, I used two of these last year unintentionally. I just, I love this scent. It is vanilla based. It's not like bakery vanilla though, which I do like. I'm using the shower gel right now and I feel like once that shower gel is wiped out, I will want to have this scent again. So I'm happy that I grabbed these three. Um, but I feel like overall the sale just didn't have a lot to offer in regards to scents that I guess I wanted. The other thing I purchased was an item for Ben. I just got super suckered in <laughs> to this. This is the Forest Ultra Shea Body Cream. I love the packaging of this. And then I got to tell you, when I smell it on cold, it has like a cologne balsam fur. Yeah, it 
it's really, it's really nice. Ben doesn't like need body creams right now. He's got a few and I'm sure he's gonna get some for Christmas, but I still wanted to get this for him because $15.50, I felt like it was a decent enough deal. And there's no guarantee that you're gonna get men's body care, uh, especially body creams during the semi-annual sale. So I figured I might as well just grab him one because the scent pulled me in. All right guys, that is it for me and this trash talk. I believe this will probably be my last trash talk for Bath & Body Works for the year 2020, which is pretty stinking cool. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts about the items I finished and the items that I used up. And I'll talk to you in my next video real soon.